Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, we're make, trying to make the push for top 1200. Uh, we were able to leave off the last stream at 1384. I went 13 and 3 with this iteration, uh, with the first iteration of Boros Prison, uh, and then afterwards off stream I went 1 and 10. So I kind of tanked all every everything we worked for on that stream went away. Um, so I made some revisions, kind of tweaked it, and uh, I've just been having a blast with this deck. It's super fun to play. Um, I'm 33 and 24 with the deck. I think we're at 97 or 98% right now. Um, so I just want to walk through some of the changes that we've applied. Um, for those of you who are catching this for the first time, we're effectively what's called a prison deck where we're, we're putting in a lock where if our opponents deal combat damage to us as their win condition, um, they basically can't win with exception of Questing Beast or Stomp from Bone Crusher Giant to get around the damage prevention clause. Um, and we do that by having Solemnity, which doesn't allow players to get counters. Uh, same with Artifacts, Creatures, Enchantments, Lands, um, and Nine Lives, where when we take damage, instead we uh, prevent that damage and then put counters on it. So effectively we get no counters, they can't deal damage, we lock them out, and then we eventually just win the game. Um, the way we win the game is either 4 mana Chandra Emblem, uh, or just keep pinging them with two twos. Uh, six mana Chandra to give a bunch of upkeep counters uh, emblems. Uh, we have one of Castle Ardenvale now, and I'm actually going to try out in this particular build a one of Crawling Barons. I found at times just having a bigger attacker to get in against like the more control matchups would be beneficial. It would also help me against the uh, like when you flood and against the Ugin matchups. Uh, there is also uh, in this version a one of Karn that we do have a Karn wish board, so there is some win conditions in there as well. Um, but Karn's more just to st stabilize and help us for some of the harder matchups. Um, so how we kind of piece this together. We have seven sources of two mana ramp between Guardian Idol and Mindstone. Um, we have Idyllic Tutor, which can help us search for um, any of the combo pieces. But also in a pinch, we have a lot of one of kind of hate cards that work to slow down our opponent. Uh, we have Authority of the Consoles, uh, creatures your opponent control under the battlefield tapped. Uh, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield, you gain one life. This, against Neo Storm, uh, slows down the combo turn. Against Gruul, all the hasters. Mono Red, all the hasters. So it kind of helps us that way there to give us a chance to be able to sweep the board afterwards. Uh, we have a couple Banishing Lights and a one of Ixalan's Binding, just as ways to remove troublesome cards. We have uh, Gideon's Intervention. Uh, this is a card that basically you can name a card and they, your opponent can't cast it. Most of the time, this is naming Ugin or against like Saltai, Maelstrom Paul, stuff like that. And it's uh, pretty much it. We also have a Myria's Call as a way to uh, create tokens if needed. We have seven sweepers in Deafening Clarion and uh, Wrath of God. And then we have a one of Graft Digger's Cage in the main just to kind of hedge against the Neo Storm matchup. That matchup's very 50 um, 50. If they could get the combo off in time, they usually beat us. But it's we don't have really instant speed interaction. Uh, it's basically if we establish the lock or they establish the combo first. Uh, for the Karn board, it's really just kind of some situational cards. We have more cages if needed to search up. Uh, Tormund's Crypt and Soul Guide for graveyard decks. Wand of Vertebrae is something I wanted to try out. Um, we can. There's some games that we just can't win um, because, like in the Mirror, for example, or if we're behind on cards. This can allow us to mill the opponent, kind of get them that way, but also shuffle cards back into our library. So if all our win conditions are gone, we can put them back into our library. We have Maze Mind's Tome for card advantage. Notably, this doesn't work when you have Solemnity out. I learned that the hard way. Uh, Ratchet Bomb is for tokens, for like goblins, stuff like that. can also blow up certain bigger spells. You don't want to put this on three. You'll lose the game with nine lives out. Uh, Spyglass is for Ugin or like troublesome cards. Uh, pirate ship is to help out just to kind of beat down or deal damage god pharaoh statue for slower matchups you can also just ping immortal suns versus like the blue white control or ugin style decks uh, meteor golem is general removal and platinum angel is just another way they can't beat us so let's fire this up see how it goes 98 percent we'll take it to the ladder and see what we can do seki thanks for stopping by sorry i was just doing the deck tech uh we will hopefully Get back into the top 1200 with this one. I've really been having fun playing this. What have you been playing on the ladder? Zarkadian. It's 
So between, if you could turn three Wrath, you're generally good. Um, this hand's a little awkward because we're in contention. Okay, so that's actually really good because now I can go uh, double red if need be or double white. That's perfect. So this could be mono red, it could be goblins. Hey John, how's it going? Okay, it's, it's Gruel. So I actually think against Gruel, getting Chandra out right now is not the best. So I think what we do is just play this tapped, play out Solemnity. It turns off their other things with counters. It makes their pelt collectors worse. Um, we basically just want to get him into this board wipe. And just a two for one's not the best value. They're only put, hitting us for five this turn. Okay, so since we drew the second wrath, that's really nice. Um, so we can do this. Generally speaking, you only need two red sources in this deck. So you can get away with it. I switched the Trinome um, just as another way to draw cards. This is good. I could just down tick here. If they have QB. Just want to. You need to be cautious against Squirrel. Um, probably just want more white. Um, so Stomp and Questing Beast get around the damage prevention. Next turn will probably be Kahira, depending what they play out. Notably, they don't have... Um... I don't want them to keep the stomp in hand and they've already used two of these. I think we just Wrath the God here. Because they can Ember Cleave next turn. I might cycle this Mind Stone just to dig us deeper. Collector is not that scary. It can't grow any larger. I think we do do this. And instantly regret it. So here, I think we just do this. Plus, put this into hand. Mind you, we wouldn't have drawn this if we didn't cycle anyways, so we are fine. We just want to find the nine lives at this point. And that's unfortunate. So we're going to Ixalan's binding this. Or we can Wrath. I think Ixalan's Binding's better here, just because it makes that any future Questing Beasts be worse. And then we can Wrath them after this Pelt Collector. Uh, good luck in the event, John. Is it the SCG or is it a different tournament? Sorry, I missed that. Just need any line now. Chandra can just wipe the board again. I think that's kind of a waste. We are just not drawing the combo. 
These sweepers are keeping us in it, but... So we're dead to a collected company. Which they very well could have. Kahira could technically keep us alive, so I think we do this. It's just safer. No point playing out another solemnity. We've just 16% chance of drawing that. Okay, it just ruins us here. There's a lot of haste threats out of this deck, so we just need to be cautious. Um, so we could turn them off Ember Cleave. We could take them off Stomp. Let's do this. How many bone crushers? One, two, two bone crushers. We've seen. Okay, Karn for company is probably best here. Or for a cage. That turns off Collected Company. We might just be able to steal this. Next turn we name Stomp. We can also get Sky Ship. So their hand's probably like questing beast and ember cleaves. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thing with best of one, you have to usually win like two games to get up like a, a percentage point. But you lose one and you drop a bunch. That one was close. So we didn't get the lock, but we... Three Wrath of Gods, two Chandras, and a six mana Chandra gets you there. Half the combo in hand. This can help us dig. Oh no. Oh no! What you don't like to see. I can't beat this deck. So they go Spyglass, you know, you know what, I can't, I can't beat this deck. We just got to take our loss. We missed a line drop too, so we weren't getting there. Uh, this is this is the deck I can't beat. So you just got to sweep it up. Play another game. Best of one is a match where you build your deck to either be super linear or attack at a certain angle. Um, we can't beat that. Yeah, if we if we hit a land, I think it's slightly different story. We go first. We have the Wrath of God. We have Idealic Tutor. I think we keep. This hand's a little sketch. We need lions. Clarion's a nice backup plan. Don't love paying three mana here. Okay, 
Okay, so we got half the combo here. Um, we didn't hit land, which I don't love. So I'm gonna just play this out. We have a sweeper in hand. I can I just don't know what quite they're on. They also have mismatched forests, which just it hurts your heart. Oh no, they have gem razor. They have gem razor. Um, okay. Still took him down. Nobody plays Gem Razor in Historic. The old blow up your thing and then realize I probably should have waited a turn because I knew that you fetched the Solemnity. So if we could just dodge Colorless, we're, we're good. Try this. So we actually have a lot of ramp here, but I think we play one calls tapped here. This is mono white life. This better not be like the opponent was playing mono white life gain that played Ugin in the main board somehow. Completely threw me for a loop. I think we might wait. I don't know why they played Glass Casket up. That's not a creature. Um, here, let's just continue ramping. Do we play out this? Probably not right now. Just keep our life total high. Got rid of a banishing light there. We're not under like crazy pressure. Let's get I think I actually like Ixalan's binding here. And the reason being, I can get this Banishing Light off just so that way they cannot play it and kill me. And then I get my combo piece back. Heliod's fine. So I want to see if they mistakenly attack in, which they do. Barons. So just doing this now, it gives us some blockers. I just really want to get this Wrath of God to slow them down. Okay, I guess they're just doing that for devotion. we take the five here we may just be naming Heliod or new plan let's go get nine lives Play out nine lives. Next turn we play out Ixalan's Binding. No real sense in attacking here. Cool. 
Then we got Chandra as a follow-up. So the biggest card is just this Banishing Light. That's the way they could take Solemnity off. And we probably just bring Kagira to hand. Actually, I kind of like Wrathing out here. So let me attack in. Because Wrath takes these off the board, and then I can Chandra on a clean board. This Crawling Barons might actually come through. They only have minimal amount of devotion. This also shuts off Heliod from getting... Okay, they had the Tribunal. That does turn Heliod back on. Uh, da, da, da. We have a couple turns. So I think what we do... This will distract them for a bit. I have blocks that I can do. We're really just looking for one of our banishing lights at this point. So that's actually pretty good because it can get an enchantment to block. Yeah, that's a good call as well. So here, I can play out Kahira. I can also make my land. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, and five. Let's just pass the turn. They can make a token. If they want to sack this, then that's also fine. Get a counter here. Um, actually, think we need to just do this. cycle this Karn could get Meteor Golem which buys me a turn Authority of the Consoles also not bad okay so I sweep the board here because it's gonna die anyways then I get Karn Um, I'm short mana anyways, so let's do this. Let's get... Where's Meteor Golem? Uh... 
Uh, I think it's better just to put a counter on this. Life gain's not going to be super relevant at this point with nine lives. We just need to get this big enough to block this Heliod eventually. So we blow up this, getting back our Ixalan's Binding, taking this off the battlefield. Oh, you know what? This is bad in our deck. I just realized that doesn't work with Solemnity, so that's something we want to get rid of after this game. There's a lot of corner cases with this deck that come up. So I need to go back and take that out. Um, so I can plus Karn here, which I actually don't mind. Keeps it alive one more turn. So I can try to find something else to do. We can go get Platinum Angel, and then just give us another angle. Cage doesn't do much in this matchup, so that's fine. Keep that. That'll get rid of Heliod. Meant to play this out. Just at this point, it's fine. We're hitting him for two a turn. And we'll eventually get board wipes. We have him locked a couple ways. Okay, Legion's landing. So we'll just... This is dead anyways, so let's just eat their stuff. Karn did what it needs to do, which is great. Counters don't work. Um, Let's tap properly deck. Get rid of Heliod here. I think we just try. Yeah, I, I the theory of it made sense, and then I played it out, and I need to cut it. I, this is the uh, this stream was the first time I put it in. It was something new I wanted to try out, but it doesn't make sense. I gotta get rid of it. Um, I think if we play it, then we play um, the other Manland, the uh, Mobilized District, or just go back to the second Arden Vale. It's probably just another Arden Vale. Oh no. That's fine, we still can't lose the game. Yeah, I think we got to go back to District. Probably going to draw a card here.
Maybe just take them off. Um. So what have we seen out of them? We could banishing lights. Okay, conclave tribunal. So we've seen out of them one banishing light. One tribunal. Two tribunals. I don't know what we name here. I think we start off just drawing a card. Okay, perfect. Yeah, got him. Yeah, it's just with these mono white decks, they're playing a variety of uh, different kind of exile effects, so it's hard to name. Whereas, like, say against Sultai, you just name um, Maelstrom Pulse, for example, or if they show Assassin's Trophy. So let's quickly fix our error, get rid of this Crawling Barons. Um, Mobilize District is still four to activate, right? Four. We don't have too many legendary creatures or planeswalkers, so it's not really that great. It's still only a 3-3. Three, three. I think we just go back up to Ar Arden Vale. Be able to make tokens. All right. We'll run one more. Um, I'm actually doing an interview uh, for content creator with another creator, uh, Charizard James, at 12.45. So probably play this game out and then switch over to the Discord to get ready for that. I've made it that mistake with Solemnity a couple times now. Keep Sweeper into half of the combo. Luris, if this is Auras, we're in a really good situation. It's Auras. Savior's a little worse here, but we have double sweeper, which is nice. So we can use this Clary on the first time to get rid of the dog. Maze Mind's Tome is another one. I thought you could still scry off it, but I didn't realize the counters was part of the cost. So here, play out the second red. Gonna go Clarion here. I know they can sack it, but I gotta do it. We can go another Wrath of God, and then I'm probably gonna go Karn for Ratchet Bomb and put it on two. No dog, no dog, no dog. Just put stuff on this. All seeds fine. All seeds doesn't do anything. I was worried for a sec they had spell pierce, but it's probably um, dive down. So if we get land, we do Chandra. If not, we get Ratchet Bomb. Land, not land. Um, probably still do this. Really wish we had the land there. Sweeping the board here would have been great. Now they get kind of get to refill. In a pinch, we can do this. I feel like they attack Karn, though. On two, this 
does get rid of our guardian idols, so it's something to be mindful of. Wrath of God also very good here. That's annoying. Weird no attack there. Okay, so they can save their dog. They can go guardian idol. Can throw in a block there. We might have to do this to bait out the dog, but then Chandra doesn't really wipe this board up. This one's tricky. So we put a counter on this. Uh, Solemnity, because we're just dead potentially, but they put four counters on this here. I think we need to just do this. Hope we draw. We're in a rough spot. Like we just haven't been able to get. They drew some timely dogs that have protected their Even popping this on one gets rid of this, which could be decent. That puts four counters. So we put it on two, we blow up this, this. They protect this. They attack Chandra. Get like a Lurus to hand. Go Obsession. So they probably have Dive Down. I kind of got to go Kahira here. They cast Luris, they get another dog that protects them twice. I think we still need to do this. We just need to kind of try to draw into it. This matchup's usually really good. We have six 12% chance. So they can put two counters, they can take my Chandra off, they can also go Luris. Puts us to six. I can block two things. Let's just be lucky. Savior. I can always do better next time. Hey, Alex, how's it going? Yeah. Sorry, got a little tongue tied there. Okay, Mind Stone's a redraw. It's 
Salimity. Mirius calls decent for the following turn. Are you on burn still? Okay, so I crack this on their turn. So I go to block, block here, block here, crack this on their turn. They have to save something. I'm getting close. Eugene would be good here. Actually, I should have popped this because now they have the two pr to protect. This matchup's usually pretty easy. I don't think I've lost to it yet. Quarter of our deck we're through. Okay, so solemnity. Solemnity. Hushbringer doesn't do it for us. We need Idyllic Tutor or Solemnity. Idyllic Tutor or Solemnity. 14% chance of our deck. Have you tried Molten Vortex or whatever the Vortex card is? Solemnity or... Nope. Nope, we weren't getting there. Super frustrating there. Ah, I love seeing that matchup. Thinking what else for burn, because Saltai is just going to wipe your board. They have the extinction event, so Phoenix isn't that good anymore. Have you tried, like, um, claims maybe for their stuff just to steal? Probably keep this. We're a little weak because we don't have a sweeper, but we have a lot of ramp. Mind you, they probably just go, like, you can steal a big crisis, try to get them that way. Uro could kind of work, but without the sack. Oh, no. Cast not cycle. Okay, we need a sweeper, and we need a sweeper fast. Sweeper. Ooh, we have the combo. Nice. So, one, two. Next turn, we go get. Don't pass my turn. Don't pass my turn. Don't pass my turn. Don't pass my turn. Arena crashed. No. Why did it tap so poorly? Oh my god. Ah. So arena crashed. And I wasn't paying attention because I was trying to play through the clock. We should have been able to play out nine lives this turn. And then we would have been able to play Miria's Call. Another 
our speaker. They had a really aggressive draw. Daxos. Insurance Solemnity is actually really nice here, just in case they had like an Oblivion, because they could have put six counters on us. These token versions are actually pretty scary if you can't get the, the lockout. Okay, well, we just need a board wipe here. Want to see if we get a board wipe to get him to concede. Um, can I actually get the wand and start milling them? Can put it on two, get them that way. Doesn't really make much of a difference um let's just get do we can pull a wand this turn they'll attack karn it's fine because we're actually behind on cards right now Wrath of God, Clarion, my untaps needs to be reset because of uh... there's no real point playing out. Gain all the life, opponent. All the life. Oh, no, wait. This is me, Mila card. Oops. I read this card wrong. Okay, so another thing. I thought this was Mila an opponent. I wanted Idealic Tutor. Uh, we want to hold this binding, I think. Okay, whatever. Play it a second nine lives. We just got to dig. We just need a board wrath. We also haven't seen many red sources. Three forty-six. Because if we board wipe them, we get a Chandra. We can start putting some emblems up. It eventually wears them down. If this is the person that has Ugin in their deck, then they have Ugin in their deck. I've lost to a mono white Ugin player before. the red source just put Kahira in hand say go I 
I just want to save this. I don't understand why you're partially attacking. Like, attack with everything to gain a life or don't attack with anything. Are they afraid I'm going to block with my 1-1? One -one? Double Solemnity is nice, because then I can Ixalan's Binding, whatever Exile effect they have. Come on, opponent. So this sweeps up most of the starting board. Do I want to wait for a Wrath? So what do I take out here? I take out most of their life gain right now. It's the angels I care about. Only putting like one ping is probably not enough, but it, it takes off Linden, which I think is reasonable. Even when they kill it, I can put Karn back, I can put Chandra back, so them being in the graveyard's not bad. I don't care about the angels at this point. They'll make a token. Sure. You're gonna be sorry Not sure why you'd waste that when you have creatures on board. Doesn't do anything. Just get out as many instances of nine lives as possible. Just need like Wrath of God. And then hopefully Chandra uptick. Oh my god. Stop drawing nine lives. There are 42 cards, we're at 38, but I can shuffle five cards. So we win that. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I got disconnected as well. Idyllic Tutor, I can name Conclave Tribunal. I can name Authority of the, I can get Authority of the Consoles. I can get another Solemnity. That puts me 36 cards to 41. So I actually don't do it. There's a very real chance that decking is what happens.
Save that for post wrath. Just to make the angels post wrath. They've already gone through two speaker of the heavens. Yeah, best of ones usually a little bit quicker, just the last few days. Your swings also aren't as dramatic. Perfect. Okay, so Wrath of God. Uh, next turn, we make angels and start attacking in. Sorry, just give me a sec, because I'm supposed to do something with Charizard James. seed don't think we care about this so that's a little annoying because it blocks my angels yeah like they're technically dead but they won't concede and I just want to save this for the banishing light Oh, it's fine. Um, I went 13 and 3 into 1 and 10. It's just like variants, but you can play the games really quick, especially with Burn. So they keep me in the sky there. Johnny's Strength of the Pride. Ooh, ooh, that was good. Oh, now they just concede. Okay, thank you. I should have self done it. They technically had the win potentially there actually, because I was down on cards, I couldn't shuffle back, but if they're gonna give us the win, we'll take the win. All right, so let's see how we ended up. It's probably not going to track that last game because we crashed halfway through. So 37-26, it didn't catch that last game. So overall pretty good. Still hovering just under 60% win rate, um, which is a pretty decent considering we basically have a, a match where we just can't win against Colorless. Um, overall really pleased with the deck. Um, so I'm actually going to hop over. I'm doing an interview with Charizard James about content creation. So I'll, have, I'll post that when it's up. But appreciate everyone stopping by. Probably stream a little bit this afternoon as well. Try to continue that grind. We kind of settled the round 98 where we went. Um, but overall, pretty good. Appreciate everyone stopping by. Have a great one as always. And uh, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.